Hello and welcome to the Manufacturing Core. Uh, this is where we're going to be discussing how to take your designs from a um, pr finished prototype stage uh, all the way up to manufacturing 100,000 or even 10,000 or more copies of your game. Uh, this isn't so much about uh, the marketing or distribution of that, um, it's just about the process of uh, how to do those things. So we're going to start off with talking about advanced prototyping. So this is where you go from printing things at home or at uh, local or work or local printing shops and start uh, creating products that are a bit more like uh, the ones that you would see in a store. So again, they will never be quite as good as the finished product, uh, but we'll get into why that is and how you can compensate for those difficulties. So I would recommend, personally, two main websites for doing your advanced prototyping. So the first is called Board Game Maker um, and .com, and they're based in, China, in Hong Kong, I think. And what's really good about their system is that it is extremely affordable to do runs of one to five copies of games. Uh, and you can also, the, the system by which you can do that is extremely easy. So you just go on and you upload cards, uh, or boards, um, you sort of pick and choose what you'd like for your order, um, fill in all the custom um, image uploads, and then you can order it and have it delivered to you. It can even be shrink wrapped um, within, you know, a couple of weeks. It will arrive, at least in Australia. I assume it would be the same um, to sort of other major regions. So that's a really good website, and that's a really good way to get those done um, and to get manufacturer quality. Uh, games with the thick cardboard and the like glossy finishes and you can even do linen finishes and things like that. Um, the next one is uh, a site called thegamecrafter.com and what's really good about the Game Crafter is that it is very specifically geared towards doing small runs of uh, indie kind of independent board games. So the quality is lower than Board Game Maker um, but the price is also lower, and um, you can even then go on and the prototype that you've uh, made, if you keep going and make it into a finished product, you can actually release that through the Game Crafter. One thing to keep in mind is that one of the standards of the industry is that the inside of your boxes is going to be white paper, so they actually have a layer of cardboard, um, which forms the box, and then on the outside we have what we expect from a board game, which is sort of like a nice... Um, glossy linen or matte uh, cover, um, but then also on the inside is generally another layer of white cardboard, so it gives it that nice sort of like clean finish. Um, the Game Crafter does not do that. Uh, it will come as uh, brown cardboard on the inside, which sounds like a small thing, and really it is a small thing, but uh, that is something to keep in mind, um, depending on the particular market you're going for, whether it's like traditional board gamers, or um, if you're wanting to think about doing a uh, much larger scale print run. It's probably best and probably cheaper actually to get it done through a um, official manufacturing company. They just have minimum ordering sizes which might be around 500 so not as useful for prototyping. So those two sets of my tips. Uh, it would definitely be good to um, use the principles of rapid, rapid iteration, rapid iterative design to uh, make sure you can easily swap those things out as you order samples. Uh, I would definitely recommend ordering a sample um, before doing a large print run. That's absolutely, I would say, essential. Uh, depending on your budget, of course, maybe you can only print five um, because that's overall a bit cheaper per copy than doing one, but yes. So that's my advice for this node. Um, included as the printables uh, for this particular node are a um, just a breakdown of the um, websites, some little instructions on how to use them, but again, best way to do it is to just get into it and um, yeah, give them a go. Download the templates, uh, stick it in Illustrator or PowerPoint if you mean, and uh, you know, just have a play and have a go. Uh, good luck.